Now that we have some comfort level with exponent rules over like bases, we move on to mixed bases. The main idea here, we take our expression, we'll separate into two factors, okay, just separate by the base, and then we just apply our rules for like bases. So for instance, if I want to simplify two squared times three to the minus one over three to the minus two times four squared, what I want to do, I want to put all terms with the threes together. Then with what's left over, okay, I look at the two squared, and that's four. So we also have things that are in base four, so I put them in their own expression also. Now we just apply our rules from the last part. So two squared is equal to four, so we have four over four squared. Here, we have three to the minus one over three to the minus two. So the three to the minus one goes to the denominator as a three. The three to the minus two goes to the numerator as a three squared. So we're gonna have four over four squared, three squared over three. And here we don't need to use any fancy rules. We just do cancellation. So I can cancel the four in the numerator with one four in the denominator to give us a four. Cancel one three in the numerator with the three in the denominator to give us a three in the numerator. So we get three fourths. Of course, we check our work. So I can go to the calculator. What do we have? If I take two squared times three to the minus one, that's gonna be four over three. So that's approximately 1.333 using the calculator. If I take three to the minus two times four squared, okay, four squared is 16, three to the minus two is one ninth, so I have 16 over nine. Go to the calculator, I get 1.777 approximately. So we put in this fraction and we get roughly 0.75, which agrees with the answer we have here. Slightly more complicated. Okay, we'll take two to the minus one times three squared over two cubed times three. Take that quantity, raise it to the minus two power. So we have options in how we proceed here. Okay, if I want to get rid of this minus sign, I could flip the fraction, but we'll just go by order of operations. So PEMDAS, so first we do parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and then finally subtraction. So first we're gonna work with what's in the parentheses. Now, our rule says, if I want to move things between the numerator and denominator, I just change the exponent by putting in a minus sign. So I'm going to put everything in the numerator here. So this 2 cubed will become a 2 to the minus 3 in the numerator. This 3, which is 3 to the 1, becomes a 3 to the minus 1. So we go from here to here. Now, we separate things out. So I want to put the 2's together and the 3's together. We use our rules. So we have a rule that says if I multiply with like bases, we add the exponents. So the two to the minus four. We multiply the threes. Okay, we have like bases, so we add the exponents. I have a two minus one, gives me a one. Now, we still have to deal with this exponent of a minus two. So we have a rule that says we apply that minus two to each term equally. So I'm gonna take two to the minus four raised to the minus two, three to the one, also raised to the minus two. Then I'll have two to the minus four times minus two gives me a two to the eight. Three to the minus one raised to the minus two gives me a three to the minus two. Now it's just a matter of pushing things around to get positive exponents. So I have two to the eighth over three squared, which is 256 over nine. To check, same idea as over here. We just use a calculator. I have three squared, which is nine. Good divide by two, so it's gonna give me four and a half. In the denominator, I have two cubed, which is an eight. I multiply by three, gives me a 24. Now, we're gonna raise that to the minus two power. So I have four and a half over 24. Okay, if I wanna get rid of this minus sign, I just flip the fraction to get 24 over four and a half. I square this. That's giving me 5.33 squared, roughly. That's 28.4 roughly, and note this will be the same as 256 over nine. So that checks my work. Let's do some simplifications using variables. So I want to simplify 3a to the fifth, b to the minus two, quantity raised to the second power, divided by minus two a squared, b to the minus one, quantity to the third power. Now, the rule we have, if 
we have okay, several terms raised to an exponent. We apply that exponent equally to each term. So in the numerator, this two, I'm gonna to contribute to each factor. So I'll have a three squared, a to the fifth squared, and a b to the minus two squared. For the denominator, we're gonna apply the cube to each equally. So I have minus two cubed, a squared cubed, b to the minus one cubed. Then we can apply our power rule to simplify each of these terms. Okay, so three squares and nine, a to the fifth to the second power. If we multiply the exponents, I get a to the 10. b to the minus two squared is gonna be b to the minus four. In the denominator, okay, minus two cubed, minus two times minus two times minus two gives me minus eight. a squared cubed is a to the six, multiply. b to the minus one cubed is just gonna be b to the minus three. Now, we wanna simplify this. So I'll collect all the constant terms together. Okay, I get a minus nine over eight. The a terms, okay, I'm gonna have a to the 10 over a to the six. So I take the difference in the exponents. So we have a to the four. Then b to the minus four over b to the minus three, we take the difference. So it's gonna be b to the minus four minus a minus three or a plus three. So we'll have minus nine eighths, a to the fourth times b to the minus one if we want all positive exponents, I have minus nine over eight, a to the fourth over b. For another, slightly more complicated, let's simplify. Okay, so I'll have 3s t to the minus two. Then we're gonna have 9s squared over 2s to the fourth t to the minus three, quantity raised to the minus two power. Now here, okay, we'll use PEMDAS. So I'm gonna simplify what's in the parentheses first. Now, I note here, I have an s squared over an s to the fourth power, so that'll reduce to an s squared in the denominator. The t to the minus three, I can pass the numerator as a t cubed. To get rid of the negative exponent, I'm gonna flip that fraction. Okay, so I take the reciprocal, so I have two s squared over nine t cubed raised to the second power. Now, we're gonna square, okay, each term that appears in here, so I apply this equally to the numerator and the denominator, then I'm gonna pass it to each term. So this is using two rules at once. I can pass exponents into a quotient by passing the numerator and denominator equally. And then we apply to all terms in the numerator, all terms in the denominator. So what do we wind up with? Okay, we're gonna have our three s over t squared in front. The two is gonna to go to two squared, s squared squared, nine squared, t cubed squared. We simplify each of these. Okay, so we have a four over an 81. I have s to the fourth, I have t to the sixth. And now I can just start combining things. So the three over the 81, okay, the nine squared, I can cancel a three out of each of those to get a 27. The four just goes as is. I have an s or s to the one times s to the fourth. So that becomes an s to the fifth. Then the t squared times t to the sixth becomes t to the eighth. And that's as far as I can take that. 